Alright then, so finally, on to the big one. As you can see, it's a Pit Boy PS4. I'm sorry about the crappy camera angle and the lighting qualities. I've got to wake up what I got, so. Yeah, without further ado, on to this. Me being careless there for a second. <coughs> Alright then. So, as you can see, it comes in this big plastic box. Very lightweight, very durable too. Got a nice finish to it. Complete with all these Vault 111 logos. And uh, Pit Boy, as you can see, it says on the front in yellow, classic. And of course, Vault Tech Industries on the on the top of the case. Nice little logo there. And to open this case, you simply just press in these two tabs like this. And it lifts straight up like that. And um, when you open this case, you get Fallout 4 Power Armor Edition. As you can see, it's all like shiny and glossy, and I'm not taking this out of the package yet because I really have nowhere to put it, and I don't really plan on opening this and playing this as I've got a steel book version instead, as you may have all seen. And um, if I just take this out for a second. What you have is the Pit Boy manual, which basically just tells you everything about your Pit Boy. Flip through this real quick. So there's your Pit Boy, labels, details. Then it goes on time about all this stuff, which I'll go through in a second. And then, um, got a stand there, which I'll also show you, it's in the box. And yeah, it's just details how to use your Pip-Boy and install the app version of it, etc. Just put this back. <clears throat> put that aside. And right in the middle of the box, you have the Pip-Boy. Nice metal latch lock mechanism. And this here, here's what it does. Push down the tab here, like this. The screen should lift straight up, and inside you have um, padding, which you use to go over your phone when you install it into the Pit Boy. And uh, like Bethesda say, you can use it to. Uh, hold on a sec, close it. Oh yeah. And um, Bethesda made it so you can actually put your phone in here and control your inventory in your actual game from it and sort your things, go through your whole tapes, and even listen to them, and that includes radio, I think. I'm not sure yet, because I haven't really played it myself. And this thing has LEDs in it, glow red, as you can see. It has um, usable dials, like this is a tuner, this is the selector, like map, inventory, status. And on the top is where the drive is on the game, but of course, you, for some reason, you can't really use it in this. It more or less serves as um, the hinge for the door for the phone compartment. And of course, you can wear this. It's a wearable pit boy and these things here. These are, uh, I think, cases of some kind to go inside the pit boy for your phones. And, uh, I think Pit Boy was only compatible with some iPhones and certain Galaxy phones. Like uh, for iPhone, I think it's four, four, four S and to six or something like that. Ooh, can't close it yet. All right, there we go. All right, so Pit Boy. Been through that. Place that side carefully. And then you have the stand. Very nicely detailed. Got a little plaque there if you can read that. Robco Industries, model 3000. Let me 
It should sit on there just like that. And that is the pit boy. Well, that is pretty much it all there is to go for on a pit boy such as this, because well, these are really my things and I've been wanting to do this for a while and I actually did post this thing uh, before, or more or less recorded it, but I didn't put it, post, post it on YouTube and um, my reason for doing it over again is because I wasn't really satisfied with my work and uh, I didn't exactly feel happy about it. So I redid it and now here we are. And this isn't, this isn't all that I have to show you guys as well, so... My brother came back from uni not so long ago and he gave me this. And that part there might give you a hint as to what this may be. So I'll just take this out for you. Drop something. One second. Alright. Get ready for this. You could call a quantum. Actually glows in the dark. If you take it out, nothing. Now you can see that. This is made with like, um, people use highlighter ink. They put it in water, they mix it, and you get this, and you can actually see the particles inside moving. It's like, if you leave this for a while, it'll settle on the bottom, and you won't really get this nice, vibrant glow of blue. So, normally I'd shake it up a little bit before I use it. And then you get a bit of a brighter radiance from it. That's probably the best thing I've ever got. I've always wanted one as well. From the light on, you can still see it does kind of still glow, but not as brightly. And well, the Quantum, um, you can also print these out from the internet, make your own. Loads of people do it, it's on eBay. These are like 10 quid for a bottle. But the only downside to this one is um, the cap is meant to be blue with new color Quantum written all over the top of it. Or more or less just across the middle, but this one didn't come with that cap for some unknown reason, so... A bit of disappointment there, but not to worry. And also, the light did come glued onto the bottom of it. As you can see, some of the hot glue is still there. But it came off during packaging, so yeah. And, um... Yeah, it just looks really cool, so... Now I've got my own Quantum. But... Even though it says in the game, it, it does sound fun, but... Apparently drinking it makes you pee glow, but I wouldn't recommend drinking this because that is basically just a one-way ticket to the morgue, to the morgue, perhaps, rather. I couldn't think of the name then, sorry. Um, that is really all there is about it, other than the fact that this isn't the actual label for Quantum. There is a proper one, but this isn't the actual Quantum logo. Or the font they use, that matter. So, um, anyway, that is uh, about all I have to show you. So, yeah, see you next time.